in this question we are talking about let r be the shaded region in the first quadrant enclosed by the y axis and the graph y is equal to 1 minus x cube and sine of x squared is shown in the figure above and we need to find the area of r so in order to find this area of r the first thing is we need to figure out what is this point of intersection is so in order to find out this point of intersection we have to use our calculator to do it so let's try to graph both the functions and figure out what is the point of intersection we need to make sure that our calculator is in radians mode here for the first equation i'm just going to put y equals to 1 minus x cube And for the second one, I'm going to draw the sine of x squared. So when we graph it, the graph would look something like this. And there is some point of intersection here. And we need to figure out what is that point of intersection is. intersect yes this is the first curve and this is the second curve and we will get the result to be 0 0.764 so the point of intersection here is intersection here is 0 0.7649 or 765, 0 0.552. This is the point of intersection. And now in order to find the region R, so we have to do this 0 to, I'm going to do it with respect to the x-axis. So 0 to, this is 0 0.765. So it is going to be area between two curves. The area between two curves, the formula would go something like integral x1 to x2 into y1 minus y2 into dx, where y1 is the upper curve and y2 is the lower curve. x1 to x2 are the limits for x, so which is basically 0 to 0 0.765. And y1 is nothing but your 1 minus x cube and y2 is nothing but sine of x squared into dx. And this is something that we can put it in our calculator to get the result. So we don't have to solve anything manually here. So I'm going to go to math, then the integral, and here the lower limit is, sorry. And the integral, the lower limit is zero, upper limit is 0 0.765, then it's 1 minus x cubed minus sine of x squared. Oh, we need to put x here. And that's going to give us the result to be 0 0.5337. Always we have to think about giving our final answer to three significance figures. So that's basically 0 0.534. And this is the right answer for part A. Next, 
if I talk about part B, so part B and the marks distribution for part A would go something like this. So one mark is for finding the point of intersection. And one mark is for showing this integral statement and one mark is for the final answer. So this is how the three marks are distributed for part A. Next, if I talk about part B now. So in part B, we are talking about how horizontal line y equals to k is drawn through a point where the y equals to one minus x cube and y equals to sine of x square intersects. So that's basically, it is drawn through this point of intersection. So something like this, and this is what is y equals to k. Find k, determine whether the line divides r into two regions of equal area or not. Show the works leads to your conclusion. So now we have already found the point of intersection. The y coordinate of this point is going to be 0 0.552. That's something that we have gotten it. So this point is going to be 0. 552. So that gives us the value of k to be 0 0.552. So now we need to figure out whether these two areas are same or not. So I'm going to find out area enclosed by the y-axis. So area enclosed by the y-axis is going to be, the formula would go something like integral y1 to y2 into x times dy. So this is one thing that we can do it. Otherwise, we can also do this one as, let's say, y equals to 0 0.552. And we can also do it like, uh, we can find the above area by the doing the integral of this 1 minus x cube minus this 0 0.552. I think that would be slightly simpler because you, are, you have to make x the subject here, so which might be slightly challenging. So let's talk about finding the area between two curves. So let me split this into two different area. This is area A, this is area P. So area between two curves. So for the first one, it's going to be area of the region A is going to be integral 0 to 0 0.765 times y1, which is the upper curve, which is 1 minus x cubed, minus y2 would be the straight line. So which is nothing but 0 0.552 into dx. And this is the one area. And part B is going to be integral 0 to 0 0.765. And here the upper curve would be the straight line. And this line minus this curve. So that's going to be 0 0.552 minus sine of x squared into dx. And these are the two areas that we supposed to find it. And we need to check what are the results here. So for the first one, integral 0 to 0 0.765. One minus x cube minus zero point five five two, and this is going to be x, and that's going to give us the result to be zero point two five seven. And next, if I talk about the second area,
that's going to be integral of 0 to 0 0.765. Oh. Zero point seven six five into zero point five five two minus sine of x squared. And that's going to give us the result to be zero point two seven six six or for three significant figures, that's going to be zero point two seven seven. So these are the areas of these two regions. And clearly the two regions have unequal areas. And this is the right answer for part B. And here the three marks distribution goes something like this. The first mark is finding the integral statement, uh, these two integral statements with the k value, that will carry one mark. And finding these results, which is 0 0.257 and 0 0.277, that will be the second point, second mark. And stating that these two areas are not equal, so that will give you the third mark. So that's how the three marks are distributed for this part, part B. Next. Next, if I talk about part C, find the volume of the solid generated when R is revolved in the line Y equals to negative three. The line Y equals to negative three would look something like this here. Let's say this is the line y equals to negative 3. So we need to revolve this entire graph among this line. So in order to do this, the first thing I would be doing is I would do the translation here. So now instead of, because we know this, volume revolving in x-axis. So we know the formula for volume revolving it in x-axis. So that would go something like, and again, if, it, if the region is between two curves, it's going to be integral. It's pi times integral, x1 to x2, y1 minus y1 squared minus y2 squared into dx. And this is the formula that we can use it only whenever it is revolving it in the x-axis. But right now, it is not going to be revolving it in the x-axis. Instead, it is revolving it in the line y equals negative three. So now this entire situation, I would move three units up. So translating three units up. So when I translate three units up, this instead of this line revolving it about the line y equals to negative three, we would be doing it, revolving it about the line x-axis. Then this entire curve would move three units up means the top curve, which is y1 will become one minus x cubed plus three and y2 will become sine of x squared plus three. The translation would be, so we need to add three units up. So in that case, the integral statement is going to be, the volume would be pi into, the limits for the x-axis will not change, so which is going to be zero to, and this point of intersection, we have it as 0 0.765 into, it's going to be y1 squared, which is nothing but one minus x squared plus three squared, then minus y2 squared, which is sine of x squared plus three squared and dx. And this is something that we can put it in our calculator and get the result. So it's pi times integral, the lower limit is zero and the upper limit is 0 0.765. And here it's 
1 minus x squared One minus x squared plus three. Close brackets and this squared, then minus open bracket. Sine of x squared plus three. the squared with respect to x and looks like I have typed it something wrong. Stick here. So it is one minus x cube, not one minus x squared. That's the first thing. So it has to be one minus x cube. And earlier I had typed it as plus two. So it's one, this one should be plus three. And when we type down this equation, we get the result to be 11.84 or 11.84. And this is the right answer for this sum. And here the three marks distribution goes something like this. Two marks for this integral statement and one mark is for the answer. This is how the three marks are distributed for part C. Thank you.